Hey everybody, Brad C here. Today we're going to be doing the assembly and I'm going to start with an unboxing and go right through it. And I wish I had a little better camera angles, but I'm working with uh, just myself today. So you get what you get, but at least I can explain to you how this goes together and it's very simple. I just want to show you how easy it is to put together and you really don't need me because the instructions are quite clear. But here we go. Okay, here's the box. Let's open it up. Voila. Here we have the separate box. We're going to have all the tools and supplies inside, so let's get that out. Okay, inside the box we have some chalk, a little triangle, put the balls on the table. We have a cleaning brush. Here we have the balls. You can see they're a lot smaller than your typical balls, but they feel quality. And I'm assuming that's probably levelers of some sort. We'll find out. Assembly screws, the Allen wrench, and more assembly parts. Now I'm not sure why they didn't go ahead and assemble this for us. You know, they should have been able to just assemble up and, and be ready. Hopefully, this is going to be something you can take up and down to be able to store it. But I guess we'll see. Let's get to the installation. Got some styrofoam pieces here, and I went ahead and put my brush to use. You can see it works very good. I do like that. Okay, here we can see the top of the pool table. We're going to need to install these pockets. So, should be screws. And just be as simple as putting it on there the correct way and bolting it down. Now, the Allen wrench has a Phillips screwdriver on it. So, it's going to fit these. And those are going to be the ones that are going to around, go around all your pockets. So, let's go ahead and put them in. Okay, you want to start with your outermost ones, these two. And you want to just get them just a little ways in, not, not completely snug by any means. And then you're going to put these two in, and then you're going to go back and just kind of snug them all up. Okay, I've got all four corners on. I just want to let you know, you want to do kind of a snug test when you get these in. Remember, you don't want to over-tighten these because this would be easy to strip out. This is obviously not like super expensive material here, so you want to make sure you're careful not to over tighten. Uh, when you get it in there you can give it a little one of these. If it's still rattling then you need to tighten your screws down a little farther. As you can see here they're tight and I went all the way around and we're, we're good and tight. Now I forgot to mention they do have the instructions and so far so good. You know, it shows all the pieces that you're supposed to have. We've got those. It shows how you're supposed to start the top. Now we're going to work on putting the bolts in on the bottom so let's flip it over and get started. Okay, I've opened this back up and you can see right here is simply going to be the hole that this stuff's going to go through and the diagram on your instructions shows exactly how to put the stuff in there so let's go ahead and do that. Let me show you how that goes on there. Of course you got one washer on this side and then one washer on the other side and your wing nut there and you're going to tighten that up. Okay and there is the finished product and I'm going to go ahead and tighten that down with the Phillips head screwdriver on one side and twisting this on the other. Now one thing to be careful of, this fell out of the box whenever I opened it. I should let you know that in the beginning. This piece somehow is loose. For some reason they leave these in here to let you see what you have to do. So this side already has the bolts and I guess this. These do not have the bolts or anything. So anyways, just be careful. Make sure you have all your pieces before you throw your box away. I almost forgot you've got these four leveling pieces and they're just going to screw into the bottom here. I really like this because you can get this completely level. You know, this you may have a, a carpet or whatever you're putting this on and you want to make sure you get your table level. But I'm just going to put them on and tighten them down as far as they can go to start with here and see where we're at. Okay, finished product. Nice. One thing I would recommend this container that the balls came in, it was in there for a reason, it was trying to keep the balls protected, but it's got a lot of fuzz on them, so I'm taking a little sanitary wipe and cleaning down the balls, because I don't want to get this fuzz all over my table and I have to be trying to clean it off. Okay, here we have our finished table, and if you would like to see the complete review on this, I'll put a link in the description where I do a full review. This is just the assembly video, and really there's nothing to the assembly. It's quite easy. Have no fear. If you want to get this, anybody can put this together. 